Nebulas, among the most stunning sights we can see in the cosmos. Some nebulas really give birth to new stars, while others are generated when a supernova explodes. Incredible in size and beauty, these clouds of dust and gas are truly magnificent to see. Thankfully, the existence of such wonderful beauties is not kept a secret. The James Webb Space Telescope has made it possible for us to see them with our own eyes. Don't you want to know everything that's going on with NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope, and other space-related developments as they happen? Then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Number 1. The Garden Sprinkler Nebula Many nocturnal sightings involve things that are yet largely unexplained. For instance, jets seen erupting from planetary nebulae continue to baffle astronomers. This is not as puzzling as the S-shaped jet from Heinze 3-1475. A jet is a long outflow of fast-moving gas, and they can be found around numerous objects in the universe, including young stars, black holes, neutron stars, and planetary nebulae. The young planetary nebula, Heinze 3-1475, and its peculiar jet have been captured in images by the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope. The Garden Sprinkler Nebula is a popular moniker among astronomers. Number 2. A Perfect Storm of Gases In the extraordinarily vast and dazzling molecular nebula, Messier 17, the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope reveals a bubbling ocean of blazing hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur gas. This telescopic image shows a tiny portion of the star-forming area known as Messier 17, M17, the Swan Nebula, M17, in the constellation Sagittarius, is around 5,500 light-years away. Number 3. Close-up of M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. This close-up of the Dumbbell Nebula was captured with the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope, and it shows a flurry of bright knots of gas that appear to be speeding through space as a result of an old star's last gasp. Over 1,200 light-years away, the Dumbbell Planetary Nebula is the consequence of an ancient star shedding its outer layers in a brilliant display of color. Messier 27, M27, is a planetary nebula that was discovered initially. It was first detected in 1764 by the French astronomer Charles Messier. Number 4. The Darkest Sunset Don't be deceived by the name. The bright light seen shining through these dark clouds is actually an indication of a new star formation. Here, in the heart of the dark cloud LDN43, 520 light-years from Earth in the constellation of Ophiuchus, a very young star is being born, the Serpent Bearer. The building blocks of stars are the free-floating dust and gas of the cosmos. Only when their mass is concentrated by gravity do these components come together to form a star. RN091 is the name of the newborn star that is only partially visible in this image due to light reflecting off the plumes of the dark cloud. It is a type of star known as a pre-main sequence star because its core has not yet begun burning hydrogen. The mass of the variable star known as RN091 is around half that of the Sun. A hazy ice disk extending over 1,700 times the distance from Earth to the Sun has been observed by astronomers. It is speculated that this disk contains protoplanets, Earth-like objects still in the process of forming and will develop into a full-fledged planetary system in the distant future. Number 5. Goodbye. We find the planetary nebula PK329-02.2 in the southern sky, in the constellation Norma. The nebula was discovered by astronomer Donald Menzel in 1922, and hence it's also known by his name, Menzel II. The luminous clouds of gas known as planetary nebulae are the remnants of stars with a solar mass that have reached the end of their lives and shed their outer layers into space. 
Stellar burnout results in an asymmetrical, non-uniform outflow of matter, allowing planetary nebulae to take on a wide variety of morphologies. The Menzel II Nebula is a twisting blue cloud that neatly frames a pair of stars at its center. The light in the upper right is the nebula's center star, discovered by astronomers in 1999. The star on the lower left is likely a true physical companion of the central star. Number 6. The Heart of the Crab Nebula While most photographs of the well-known Crab Nebula have focused on the nebula's outer filaments, this one shows the nebula's central neutron star, the brilliant star on the image's right, up close and personal. The delicate rainbow of colors in this time-lapse photograph provides evidence of the rapid mobility of the material closest to the center star, with the rainbow effect being caused by the movement of material throughout the time between images. Number 7. The Story of the Swan and the Butterfly Planetary Nebula NGC 7026 is shown in this view from the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope. This butterfly-shaped cloud of incandescent gas and dust is the remnant of a sun-like star, and it can be found just beyond the tip of the tail of the constellation Cygnus, the Swan. Though they're called planetary, planetary nebulae have nothing to do with planets. In reality, they are a transient occurrence that occurs near the end of the lives of medium-sized stars. When a star's nuclear fuel supply runs out, its outer layers expand until only the scorching core remains. Heat excites the atoms within the gaseous envelope, causing it to glow brightly like a fluorescent sign. On Earth, fluorescent lights are loaded with gases that produce a wide range of vivid colors. Famous red neon signs use ultraviolet, black lights, which generally include mercury. The same is true for nebulae. The mixture of gases within them is what gives them their brilliant colors. Number 8. Searchlight Beams The primary star of the nebula is depicted here at the center, although it is obscured by a dense cloud of dust. Although the star itself is obscured by the nebula, four searchlight-like beams of light emanating from it are visible. The jets from the star are assumed to have blasted circular holes in the dense dust cocoon, allowing the beams of light to shine through. These holes are likely caused by stellar jets, but the exact mechanism by which this occurs is unknown. One possible explanation is that the central star of the nebula is actually a binary system. Periodic bursts of material being released from the dying star causes the more diffuse cloud surrounding the center cocoon to have a layered structure, much like an onion. The explosions happen on average once every few hundred years. The best estimate puts the egg nebula's distance from Earth at somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,000 light years. However, this is simply a guess. As a result, scientists cannot provide precise measurements of the nebula's size. It may be larger and further away, or smaller but nearer. Number 9. Radiating Hot Young Star This uncommon image was captured by the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope and shows a gas cavity carved by the stellar wind and intense radiation from a young hot star, like a geode in space. True geodes are bubbles in volcanic or sedimentary rock, and they can be anything from the size of a handball to several feet across. The geologist has to cut these unassuming spheres in half to reveal the crystal-lined chamber within. Number 10. Dusty Rainbow Star The Egg Nebula, which resembles a pool lit from below by underwater spotlights, provides scientists with a rare glimpse of the dust shells encasing a dying star. The dust layers, which are more than a tenth of a light year away from the star, have a ring-like structure similar to an onion's peel. Light from the center star is obscured by a broader dust belt that runs almost vertically through the image. Like a bright spotlight in a dark room, the hidden star's twin beams of light reveal the murky dust. The Egg Nebula is located 3,000 light years in the constellation Cygnus. Number 11. The Glowing Eye Planetary Nebula NGC 6751, sometimes known as the Eye in the Sky, was discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. The nebula, seen in the constellation Aquila, 
is a glowing cloud of gas blasted from the central bright star some several thousand years ago. There is no connection between planets and planetary nebulae. They are gaseous envelopes ejected by sun-like stars as they burn out. Loss of the star's outer gaseous layers reveals the hot stellar core, and the star's powerful radiation causes the expelled gas to glow as the planetary nebula. That was it for this video. Thanks for watching. What artwork would you choose to hang in the space above your bed? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, don't miss any news about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other space-related news by clicking the red subscribe button, and don't forget to leave us a like. You all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.